I mean, you know the struggle is real when you have to reach for the bath soap. So today we're going to release soap from this annoying, slippery communal loaf package and transform it into something far more convenient, liquid soap. Hi guys and welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and, well, bath soaps kind of suck. Not the soap itself, in fact I have a whole video dedicated to the power of soap and what to use as an alternative if you can't get your hands on soap and that will be linked above so definitely check that video out. So it's not the soap I have an issue with, it's just the bar form. If you watched my previous video, you'll know that most liquid soaps aren't even soap, they're actually synthetic detergents. So by turning bar soap into liquid soap, it's a great way to get all of the natural benefits of soap but in a far more convenient and easy to use pump bottle. And all you'll need is a bar of soap, a hint of glycerin and good old fashioned water. But just before we get into the video, it can be harder and harder to find everyday items. But I've created a playlist of essential self-isolation DIYs, so subscribe to my channel as I upload new helpful tutorials each week. So let's just get straight into the video. Here's how to turn a bar of soap into liquid soap. So first things first, we need to melt our soap. The soap is easier to dissolve if it's in smaller pieces, so either grate or chop it. I can't believe how much this resembles cheese, but it definitely isn't, so don't even think about tasting it. Just take my word for it, it's nasty. Onto the melting. In a large pot, pour one litre of water, half a tablespoon of glycerin, and a quarter cup of our grated soap. Then let the soap completely dissolve. It was around this point when I realised something was wrong. It's very watery, like, I don't know, it doesn't really look like it's going to set. So, um, I'm gonna leave this overnight and, yep, still liquid. <laughs> Okay, um, let's just pretend like this didn't happen and we're going to start again. So it's a new day, I've done some tweaking to the measurements and like before we're going to pour in our water, glycerin and soap. Bring to a simmer until all the soap has dissolved. See, now this is looking better already. It's even got a little bit of a foam on top. This is such a straightforward bar soap to liquid DIY. All you need to do is to keep an eye on it just to make sure that it doesn't... Oh, never mind. And moving on, and next up is adding our preservative and of course any fragrances if you want. Wait to do this step a little until your mixture has cooled. Determine how much preservative to use by weighing the mixture and then following the percentage guidelines on your respective preservative. Here is also the point where you would add in any essential oils, but my soap already has a strong fragrance so I'm going to skip this step. But the preservative is non-negotiable people. Check out my DIY lotions video linked above where I explain natural preservatives and why you need to use them. Once it's mixed, leave this covered and set overnight. So by now your soap should have thickened up. Depending on the bar of soap, it can vary in terms of how many seas of thick it gets, but as long as it's not watery, it will work just fine. To give it more of a hand soap consistency, the final step is to whip it up. By incorporating some air, the soap becomes less gloopy and a lot easier to use. You can either use an immersion blender, an electric whisk, or you can do this by hand. And all that's left is to bottle our soap. This is also a great way to reduce waste by reusing old soap bottles like this one here. I'm curious, can you guys guess the brand of soap just by looking at the bottle? Thank you. 
and as you can see the final texture is pretty close to regular hand soap. Now I don't know about you, but I was genuinely surprised that this actually worked. This resembles liquid soap pretty well. Now of course it's not going to be quite as luxurious as normal liquid soap, but just the fact that you can turn any old bar soap into a liquid soap is really exciting to me. Now your results will really depend on what sort of soap you use to begin with. Not all bar soaps are 100% soap and depending on the glycerin level and other ingredients that might be added to it, you'll find that when you melt your soap down it will range anything between a gel like substance to a liquidy one. The first batch I made was incredibly watery to the point where I didn't even want to use it. If your soap is on the watery side when you melt things down, using the immersion blender to foam it up a little bit will give your soap a little bit more substance making it easier to use. But I think if you play around with the measurements a little bit more you'll be able to find a consistency that you want. It's funny because I actually make my natural shampoo by using African black soap as a base and that is in a bar form but it never occurred to me to make it into a hand wash. The best thing about this DIY is that even though there are shortages with finding hand soaps, bar soaps have been left relatively untouched. I think people haven't quite caught on to the fact that bar soaps are just as effective as hand soaps. So if you are struggling to find any liquid soaps, you can either just use bar soap as is, or you can follow this tutorial and turn it into your own liquid soap. So please do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for even more natural DIYs, tutorials and recipes. Thanks for watching. And in case anyone's wondering, don't worry, I did manage to rescue my failed attempts by adding in more soap. For even more DIYs, click here.